Hi, I'm Amy and I have a serious sugar addiction. So for the next 14 days, I'm going to be giving up added sugar. I watched this video by Dr. Eric Berg and he lists seven things that are supposed to happen to your body if you give up sugar for 14 days. So I'm going to be monitoring these seven things that he suggests and see if he's lying. <laughs> I'm going to be measuring these things physically or tangibly with a waist measurement, how much weight I lose, and also measuring how low my glucose levels are because I am on the cusp of being a pre-diabetic. So the rules of this 14 days is no added sugar. Having stevia or monk fruit will be okay, and then also like any actual fruit because those have natural sugars. So I decided to do this challenge, just quitting sugar cold turkey. I had like this insane amount of desserts recently. So today is cold turkey day. One thing I read that is supposed to help with being able to go to cold turkey is increasing your protein amount so that way you feel fuller longer uh, eating whole grains so the feeling of being full from these types of foods will affect the cravings that i should have for desserts today is day three of the no sugar and i have the notorious sugar headache the one where your brain is like Give me sugar, why don't I have sugar? I need it now. So I feel like today is gonna be quite challenging. I did drink my coffee and I did the no sugar creamer. That seems to help right now. So I'm gonna go grab some lunch, which is going to be a high protein yogurt. That way it will help me feel fuller, longer, and satisfy that sweet tooth. So we are visiting family this weekend. So that's day four through seven. One of the things that's super challenging is that I don't have my usual snacks. So I had to find what was available, which is a grilled cheese sandwich made with olive oil and nut butter and a beef stick because I need lots of protein in order to help me with the sugar cravings and water, a lot of water. One thing that I am super proud of on this trip, it was my nephew's birthday and they had this beautiful cake there and I was like, oh crap, my biggest weakness is cake. <laughs> and I was like, I saw that and I was like, if I don't get out of here, I'm gonna eat a piece of that. So I ducked out of the party room and stayed out of there for like 30 minutes until they started putting the cake away. And I was like, yee, I did it. So on this trip, I was helping my family organize their pantry and I found this dried mango and I was like, oh my gosh, I love dried fruits and it's like a natural thing. So I got myself a couple of pieces and then randomly I was like, oh shoot, I should probably check to make sure that this doesn't have added sugar. And so I looked at the nutrition label and it was like four grams of added sugar and I was like, Oh, dang it, I already messed up. And as soon as I looked at that nutrition label, I threw away the half piece of mango fruit that I was eating. I was like, oh, no more. I had to tell myself like, okay, this little blunder, it doesn't negate everything. Other than that though, I think that week one went really well. Like I'm feeling very confident in myself starting week two. I should be noticing a reduction in my stomach in the second week. And since it's day 11, like I actually look down and I'm like, okay. So I, I'm always one, like when I'm sitting down, like I look at the side and I'm like, okay, those rolls are getting a little bit smaller. So it should be working, right? I did crave sugar the other day. And I decided to make my nice cream, which is made with frozen bananas. And I thought I was putting in half and half and then some water, but it, I didn't realize that it was heavy whipping cream and I whipped it too long and I'm pretty sure it was butter. So I was eating like banana butter ice cream. <laughs> it was still pretty good with like the peanut butter that I added to it and the dates, but I ate it anyway because I was like, I need this 
today. Like I was craving a dessert. So I was able to stick to no added sugars. So that was a win. I really only had like that strong urge for that one dessert, but I have been dreaming about these Biscoff puddings that I put in the freezer when I started this challenge. I can't have these until the end of this challenge, but I also have to make sure that this doesn't turn into like a binge session. Look at this. I thought like the universe was taunting me this morning for breakfast. This was in the freezer and it came out and I was like, I did not take that out. Did I sleepwalk? What's going on? Turns out my daughter's going to eat it, which is totally fine. But I am going to stay strong this morning for breakfast. I'm going to finish my pineapple for my sweet treat. I am going to have oatmeal because we played pickleball this morning. I did my heavy workout and I just am feeling like, ugh, I need food. I'm starving. Note to self, do not ever add protein powder into your oatmeal beforehand because you get this weird, textury, gooey, I don't even know, like it tastes like, like rubber. It was gross. So I had to pick it out and throw it away. So usually I get hungry around like 3 p.m. I'm like, I need a snack right now, but I have actually been way more thirsty. Like I cannot get enough water. So feeling less hungry, I feel like it's a legit thing. It's because your blood sugar is supposed to be stabilizing. And I feel like that's a, that's a true statement. Like I really actually feel less hungry. It's nice actually not to just want food all the time. So in the second week, my clothes should also be feeling looser. And I kind of wear stretchy clothes anyway. So that one's a little bit hard to measure. So I might have to figure that out at the end of the two weeks to see like if I lost anything on my stomach measurements. I feel like I'm going to, but it would probably be more measurable like in terms of feeling if I wore real clothes, meaning like jean shorts or jeans. Like I'm always just wearing like stretchy old lady clothes, you know, the ones with like the elastic waistband at the top, but they are so comfortable. So I'm taking a quick break from my lunch time right now and I have this snack because I'm not like super hungry, but I just want some food. like an emotionally needing food type of a day. Let the ever present like emotional status of your loved ones affect your food. Like I just want to eat. I will be doing a workout later though. That's one thing I also incorporated and that's going really, really well. And I feel like good about myself. So today is gonna be like a hit one and it's like 47 minutes. It's going to be long, but worth it, I know, because I'll feel better. I can. That's interesting. That's actually really good. Reminds me of like peanut butter and jelly filling, but without the bread. This might become one of my new favorites. So this two weeks was surprisingly easy for me. This is like a huge deal for me because I have been struggling with the sugar for so freaking long. And so being able to complete a 14 day challenge with no sugar is like mind blowing to me. So these were my physical things that actually changed. Which is freaking awesome like I can't even believe that and that just kind of gives me motivation to keep going like limiting the amount of sugar that I have so some of the other things that Eric Berg mentioned in that video was feeling less fatigue especially after eating a meal and I, I really honestly don't ever feel tired after eating a meal except for like at Thanksgiving you know when you like completely overeat so I don't really feel like this was something that happened to me so then you're also supposed to have an enhanced mood which maybe my enhanced mood comes from being like so proud of myself but as far as like that affecting being calmer and having less stress 
I think that's a 50-50 thing because you can't always control your outside emotions and things that affect you like finding out bad news or just having a sad day. I don't know if, if you've ever just had a sad day, but it kind of happens to me a lot more than I would like to admit. It was like the most important thing during those days is just like, okay, take it moment by moment. Don't eat your feelings and just like breathe through it all. <laughs> what do you do when you have sad moments? Because I would love to know to try to implement those. My skin is supposed to be looking better, but I honestly forgot to do like a before and after. I did have like a little bit here on my chest. I would have hoped that it went away all the way but it at least got lighter. The last thing that he mentions, which I think is kind of weird, is you're supposed to be like less stiff. Sugar causes like inflammation in your body to like kind of retain excess, I don't know, like water or something. But I don't think that that was something that really affected me because I didn't really feel stiff before I tried this video, especially with already having like worked out and stretching every day. Like I think that's something that doesn't have anything to do with sugar, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> so one of the big problems with his statements that I feel like is that he doesn't take into consideration that like everybody's body is different and we have like different hormones. We have different responses to like emotional things or physical things that happen to us. So I think some of these things happen for everybody, but then like other people, like for me, not all of these things that he listed were true. So I don't think he was all the way lying. <laughs> but I definitely just wouldn't take people's word for it and be like, yeah, all of these things are gonna happen to me. And if they don't, then that means that I failed at this challenge, which is like completely not the case. Like giving up sugar for any amount of time even just like one or two days if you're addicted to it i feel like is a really great accomplishment if you're thinking that 14 days might be like a little bit too hard to begin with then you should really check out what happened when i did no sugar added for only seven days and you can find that right up here